What is up here with Simon80 and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, we played through the prologue where we were introduced to Miu, who, well, she met a rather unfortunate fate at what might be, or the hands of what might be the titular Maiden of Blackwater. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. But then we played as Yuri, who investigated an abandoned manor, ran into quite a few ghosts who, well, weren't exactly the, the friendliest. And we got a C rank on it, probably because I didn't actually capture all the ghosts we could have, and took a long time doing so. However, now we're going to jump into the second drop. I do want to say, though, it just came to me, we can change our costumes. And there are a bunch of different outfits um, from some of the past Fatal Frame games. Oh, we have to purchase some of these with uh, points? Uh, we can't even see what they look like ahead of time? Darn, that's a bit of a bummer. But I guess these are at least... Huh. What's it called? Uh, available? And we can change the outfit of Ben, and then Miu as well. So these are just some of the outfits from the previous Fatal Frame games. But anyways, let's hop into the second drop. We're going to be playing as Yuri Kosakata and trying to find Fuyuhi Himino. It has been several days since the incident at the inn. Hisoka is out on a case. A young girl comes to the shop and finds a worried Yuri. Yuri is given a missing person case. Something Hisoka forbade. Yeah, she said the missing person ones were the really tough ones. When you go after a shadow, right? You might find more than you are hoping for. So we currently have 10, 5, 3, oh, is this just kind of like, interesting. So, is this just the baseline for, we're starting off with each of these, this many of each of these for the mission? I guess so. Oh, and we have different types of film. And we can buy it with our different types of, uh, with our points. So type 14 film is old film and has lost most of its power to exercise ghosts. 200 points for one shot. Old film, type 61 film, is not effective at exercising ghosts and it takes time to load. But if you get 500 points for a shot. Sanctified film that loads quickly. All right, so type 90 is obviously the best. Psychic lens can only be purchased once. A lens that allows you to experience spiritual phenomena. Huh? I'm so curious what, what that is. Either way, we'll start with just kind of the base inventory. <clears throat> A few days have passed since Yuri's introduction to shadow reading at the abandoned inn. Since then, Hisoka has gone off somewhere and hasn't returned. Yuri worries for Hisoka, but isn't sure how or where to start searching. As she sits waiting at the antique shop, a girl named Fuyuhi Himino shows up, claiming to have enlisted Hisoka to help her find a missing person. This almost like static in the background reminds me of Soma. <laughs> Alright, so we're at an antiques cafe. I wonder why are these episodes called first drop and second drop? Why are they called drops? すみません。
すみません黒沢が戻り次第いえ遅くなるなら結構です自分で確かめます Wait, no, don't do that. Don't go yourself. A missing person case. He still got left a few days ago and hasn't been back. Maybe this is what she's been working on. He still got his room is upstairs. Maybe she left some clues as to her whereabouts. All right. I'm still nervous about standing here by myself, as I've never been good at handling customers. I've only just learned how to make coffee, and I've never actually served a customer yet. I know we have to go upstairs, but I kind of want to take a look around the antique shop briefly. Anything of interest? There are various antique cans and storage jars under a shelf of coffee cups. Maybe if it's the time that's totally tanking my ranks, this is definitely not helping. <laughs> the road in front of the shop leads to Mount Hikami. It was built for the tourists, but the only people who use it now are the people who live here. It's a clock with a large bell. Okay. Some interesting, you know, kind of almost like outlandishly bright artwork in the background, right? We have all these like golds and ambers and browns, and then there's just like that bright red and blue and green in the picture. The cupboard is filled with cups that we don't use anymore. This is the customer restroom. Hisoka and I take turns cleaning it. Alright, alright. We'll, we'll head on up. I wonder why the static seems to be stronger in certain areas of the room. Oh, what I, what I forgot to say is this door opening animation, it reminds me of the prolonged door opening animations from Luigi's Mansion. This game in general, it reminds me of like two of, you know, games I really, really enjoy. Pokemon Snap and Luigi's Mansion with a much larger dose of actual horror. A book about Mount Hikami was lying on the bookshelf. It seems to be about the rumors surrounding Mount Hikami as a site of spiritual activity. Suicide at Mount Hikami. How does a place become famed for suicide? As more people die, the place will gain a reputation, and people are drawn to these spots out of a desire not to be alone in the end. Interestingly, these suicide spots are rarely known as hotspots for spiritual activity. This is what makes Mount Hikami distinct from the others. It is both a tradition of suicide and has long been associated with ghost sightings. Then there are the so-called Maidens of Black Water. It is said that if you are found by one of the, those maidens, they will lead you to your death. Those caught in the maiden's gaze never again leave the mountain, or so the rumors go. There are also tales of specters on Mount Hikami who relive their own deaths. Those who do not die in accordance with local practices become cursed, forced to relive their final moments for eternity. Yikes. Many of the people who have been kept from committing suicide on Mount Hikami claim to have seen a maiden, or one of, the, one of these looping specters, and felt a strong compulsion to kill themselves. Perhaps it is because of these stories of maidens and ghosts that the mountain continues to be a popular spot for those looking to take their own life. That's sad, but maybe that explains Yuri's own experience, right? A book about Mount Hikami was lying on the shelf. The Deathly Mountain. Not Death Mountain, the Deathly Mountain. It seems to be about the traditions surrounding the mountain. Mount Hikami has long been feared to be haunted. In the past, it was said that sleeping with one's feet facing the mountain was taboo. Watching the sun set behind the mountain, too, was believed to invite forth beings from the netherworld. Today, the mountain is said to call to those fascinated by death. Countless rumors abound of people spirited away to that accursed peak. They are said to venture to the mountain alone, leaving behind no trace of themselves. Some say the bodies of those who vanish can be found at the bottom of the Lake of the Departed on the mountain's summit. Since becoming a tourist destination, the prevalence of such frightening tales did seem to diminish for a while. Even so, despite its fleeting status as a tourist haunt spot, Mount Hikami has yet to shake its reputation as a cursed mountain, a place of death. Today it has been a, become a popular place at which to commit suicide. Anything else interesting in here? And static is definitely increasing. An old 
bedroom of sorts. There's nothing of interest in here. Okay. A pretty kimono hangs on a rack. Okay. Really? Nothing of interest? Okay. Fair enough. Do I have the camera? No, I don't. <laughs> what was there to check there? You can look down on the shop from here. Why, yes, you can. A small potted plantain lily sits on top of a low dresser. Seems like this would maybe be the office. There's that same picture in the frame over there. This is Hisoka's room. She really likes the traditional Japanese style. It's an old Japanese style full length mirror. I've never liked looking into mirrors. Man, the resolution's a little bit different than uh, outside the mirror, isn't it? What I really wanted to pick up was this piece of paper. Can I. There we go. A folder reading Lost Items sits on the desk. It looks like it's bound by string. These seem to be notes on Hisoka's shadow reading cases. Lost Item Case Files. Client. Missing item diary. Token, photo of the deceased. Details locate mother's diary. Client seeks info on their late mother. Relates to a deceased individual. Apply caution. Results the caretaker of the deceased had burned the diary at her request. Missing item, storeroom key. Photo of the deceased, locate storeroom key. Item may already be lost. Token and item belong to deceased. Apply caution. Item located. Had been hidden by client's parent. Return to the client. And then diamond ring. Token rings box. Client seeks lost engagement ring. Requested fiance not be notified. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, date of wedding soon approaching. Found on client's desk. Was in an obvious place, but somehow eluded the client. Is that how those things always work? I can appreciate a little bit of humor amidst uh, you know, a horror game. And then client, Ren Hojo. Interesting. Album post-mortem photographs. Oh, this is what we just worked on. Reference material for a book about traditional practice in Mount Hikami area. Bad location, but minimal danger anticipated. Client is an acquaintance. Result found in old building of Bandon Inn. Shadow attempted to drag Yuri toward the netherworld. Should have gone alone. Must warn Yuri to stay away from the mountain. I can only imagine that's not going to go over. There's a book next to the files, entitled The Art of Shadow Reading. Shadow reading is the ability to read traces of the past, not unlike the ability commonly known as psychometry. By following these traces, it is possible to find things that have gone missing, or which were no longer visible. Things that are demonstrably there, but for reasons unknown are all but invisible. Things the owner wish to be forgotten. Things whose owners have passed away. Things that no longer wish to be seen. Things drawn partway into the netherworld, invisible within our own. Such items can be called back to the world of the living. Unlike these objects, however, people who have been spirited away must not be chased after lightly. In many such cases, they have been taken by creatures of the netherworld who linger nearby. Utmost caution must always be applied. Letter from Fuyuhi. An open envelope has been left on the desk. The sender's name reads Fuyuhi Himino. Okay, so she probably is working on this same request that we were just presented with. <clears throat> this must be Fuyuhi's missing person request. Maybe it could provide some clues as to where Hisoka and Fuyuhi went. Dear Miss Kurosawa, please find Haruka. She went missing over a week ago. You do still take on missing person cases, don't you? I've contacted the police, but they're no help. They say she was probably spirited away. Haruka wouldn't have gone anywhere without telling me. I'm certain something bad has happened. I can handle my own grief, but I can't stand the thought of her suffering somewhere. What if she's waiting for me to find her? I'm worried sick. Haruka is still alive. I know it, but something has to be done, and quick. Remember when you found that precious picture of me and Haruka? I was so happy to have it. Now I need your help once again. There was a photograph with the letter. Aw. It shows Fuyuhi looking shy and another girl. They look close. So that's gonna be what we use. 
この人を探して引っ込み山に I wonder where we're going At night time? At night time? Mount Hikami. Fuyuhi is somewhere on this mountain. I should be able to use this picture of her to find her trace. So there's the trace. I guess, yeah, we can just follow it, right, by holding down R2 and, and walking forward. Although I do want to take a moment to just kind of look around at the environment. This game in general has had a very, very pretty atmosphere and, and impressive aesthetics. So I like to take a look. I can see an abandoned inn covered in ivy across the pond. There's a connecting hallway that disappears into the mountainside. The building it used to lead to is buried by a landslide. What's that off in the distance? That's probably just a light. Okay. So we'll continue to follow the trace. What? What was that? Oh, I don't have a camera obscura. <laughs> That's a little bit problematic. Do I want to keep going that way or do I want to travel in these other directions? I kind of want to check out these other areas. Again, I play a fair number of JRPGs. Phew, he didn't come this way. Her trace should lead me to her. Okay. So, this game seems to be one where, well, exploration of other pathways, etc. isn't necessarily encouraged very strongly. Instead, the game pushes you in the, the right direction. To the Pool of Purification. I wonder what that purification entails. The music when you're following a trace gets so intense. It reminds me of the music from Slender with like the really like loud drum in the background. That was Fuyuhi, wasn't it? She would have been up here? The road has collapsed and the stone stairs are cut off. It must have been the landslide. The old road seems to carry on up the edge of the cliff. Okay. Then I guess... Oh. Further into the woods we go. Plenty of water. Just in general. Water flowing from the rocks is pooled here, forming a small pond. There's something on the ground. Here we go, guys. Is this going to be the time? Yes, I knew it. I'm moving. Sometimes a ghost hand will appear when you try to reach for an object. Release R2 at the right moment to dodge it. If you do get grabbed, use the left stick and right stick to break their hold on you. We took a little damage, unfortunately, but... Alright, we're going to let go at the right time. Tourist brochure? I wonder if for you he dropped it. Huh. It has a map of the mountain. Okay. This should be very useful. So this is the way from the Pool of Purification to the Unfathomable Forest. What a name! <laughs> Unfathomable Forest, got it. From the main menu, square, open map and press triangle. Okay, triangle. So where... can I zoom? No, I can't, but that's fine. So we are here... And we're presumably heading up this way, right? The circle is Kurosawa's antiques, but I don't, I don't see the circle, do I? Oh, interesting. So from the triangle map, I can kind of hone in on different areas to see maps of those areas individually. Gotcha, okay. So 
we were at Mikomori Pond at one point. Now we're heading to the Pool of Purification. I see. It's all coming together. That is helpful. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned. I don't have my camera, so I'm functionally defenseless. What's over this way? Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of stuff to, or there's a path to the left though too. Oh, not quite a path. So much as just a, what is this? An old stone monument has been set in the rocky hollow. It's covered in moss, so I can't tell if there's anything written on it. It must be a memorial for those who lost their lives in the landslide. Sounds reasonable. There's something under the waterfall. Alright, are you gonna get attacked? Nope. You got purifying embers. Coals that light the forbidden flame. They dry you and remove the taint of the black water. The wetness gauge to the low right of the screen will light up when you come in contact with water. If you get drenched, you'll become an easy target for malevolent spirits. Interesting! So all this water actually has gameplay impacts. Use purifying embers to dry yourself off. There was something I wanted to check before. <clears throat> the waterfall is beautiful as it flows down. A lot of people probably come to see this back, or came to see this back when the mount was a tourist destination. Interesting. I'm actually getting wet at the moment. What the heck was that scream? Um, as evidenced by the meter, is what I was saying. So even though I was kind of standing, kind of hugging the wall there, it seems like I was getting... My wetness meter was getting affected. Got herbal medicine, pills made from a myriad of herbs. Consuming them will restore some health. Okay. Interesting. Do I dry off? Because my meter continues to deplete. Looks like we continue to go that way. I'm curious, though, what's over here, if anything? The road is buried under earth and rock. Grass and trees jut out from amongst it. It must have collapsed a long time ago. Are the purifying embers something that will replenish my meter, or prevent it from continuing to decrease? Hmm. Well, we'll find out. I'll probably wait until it gets fairly low before using my purifying embers. He can follow this for the time being. Anything this way? No, it doesn't seem like it. Let's see, what is this? More purifying embers. The game is certainly aware that we're encountering quite a bit of water. <clears throat> and about to get closer to more, it seems. There's something in the water. Yes, there is. I'd like to go get it. We're supposed to go... which way? That way? Okay. But in the meantime... Let's head on over here. This one. Oh, it's the camera! Hisoka's camera obscura? What's it doing here? Wait, so Hisoka's? Defenseless? Oh, I don't like that. And we got 24 of the Type 14 film. Old film, it is not effective at exercising ghosts, and it takes a long time to load. You got the stun lens, a lens that forcibly staggers the photographed subject. To use it, equip it to your camera obscura and press square when you have enough spirit power. You got the switch upgrade. This allows you to equip and take pictures with different lenses. You can now use the camera obscura. Press triangle to enter photo mode. What am I looking at? Oh, and I can select the film with different D-pad mo movements. Type 14 film has a limited number of shots. Um, so there's type 14. I'm back to type 7. 
Oh, and then I can go up or down to select the lens. Oh, shoot. What's behind me? Is there stuff behind me, or what? What's attacking me? From where? Over here. Okay, I think we got Fatal Frame. Right? Okay. So there's one on our right as well. Well, we'll get Fatal Frame with this guy. I think. Come on, Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame! There we go. Okay. And we've got a friend over here as well. Fatal Frame! Doing some big damage here. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We're pretty close up. I think we took care of it? I think? Yeah? I think so. Alright, let's take care of you then. Yeah, I'm still not like 100% of the motion controls versus the other stuff. Let's see, we got the, the spirit fragments, so I think we've done a significant amount of damage. Oh! Shutter chance? What was the deal with that? The camera obscura must have been carried here by the current. This means Fisoka is on the mountain too. What was shutter chance again? Oh, that's right. That was when there are five things on screen, on screen including the spirit fragments, right? But I should focus on finding Fuyuhi first. She can't have gone far. Okay. Well, we have the camera obscura, and my my wetness meter went away. So good, I guess. I did, in between episodes, bump up the horizontal and vertical sensitivity of the camera obscura in terms of it, the right stick controls, but again, the motion controls feel the most familiar, or not familiar. Did I get it? Eh, technically. Woman on a cliff. It's not exactly the best picture, though. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the motion controls feel the best until until you get to, like, the controller is rotated 90 degrees. Then it doesn't exactly feel as comfortable. I can't see the bottom. Nobody could survive a drop from this height. Oh, hello there. Uh, turn around? Can I take a picture? No? So you'll notice it's moving a little bit more quickly in this direction. Um, so maybe this is something I'll try to get more used to. Or just use a combination of the two. It's interesting. From here you can see the whole area below the waterfall. There's the shrine road, wiped out by the landslide, and the path that leads up here. If anything, that means somebody could have been watching us the whole time. Oh, you know what? Did I have to hit triangle when that ghost was over my shoulder? I thought there would be a prompt in the lower right corner if I could do something about it. But I bet... There wasn't a prompt, but I bet I could have hit triangle regardless. Dang. <laughs> I'm learning, I'm learning. Given the fact that there are there is this episode structure, and you can potentially you know collect a number of ghosts and get better scores, I'm, in, I'm inevitably going to play through these episodes again. But between the rocks, I can see the stone lanterns by the pool. It looks like it's deserted. It looks like it's deserted. Meaning there are no people there. But what if there are ghosts? There's a fork in the road. The plants here are slightly different than the ones below the pool. I must be close to the unfathomable forest. Looks like there's a fence on the left. So I'm kind of curious to see if there's anything interesting over here. The tutorial with the camera obscura must have dried us off. <laughs> because you can see even her clothes currently don't look like they're wet at all. A tall fence blocks the path. Beyond is an expansive forest. There doesn't appear to be any way around. So I think they might have just thrown us a bone there. You got type 14 film. Lovely. Old film. It is not as effective at exorcism ghosts. And it takes a long time to load. Is it going to give us that description each time? Might be like the, the Zelda syndrome of telling us what type of rupee we got every single time we pick one up. Is this where we're supposed to be going? It is. Okay, good. 
Just wanted to confirm. Oh, I can take a picture of this? That's right! View Hihimino entering the forest. Interesting. That's right. What were these called again? Not tr not traces, but something something else. When are we going to get attacked? There's a torn note lying on the ground. It looks like Fuyuhi Himino's. I looked into Mount Kikami. It's always been a spiritual place. Not spiritual as in holy, but spiritual as in filled with the spirits of the dead. Maybe that's why it's a suicide spot? Haruka wouldn't go to die alone, though. Not without telling me. The book said people get spirited away to the mountain. They get called towards it and disappear. Alone. I read how it calls to people who are perceptive, anxious, meek, and who lack family. My heart skipped a beat when I read that. It was describing Haruka perfectly. She's so kind and accepting. She always opens up to me. She's alert even when she seems to be spacing out. She knows what I'm thinking. Maybe she was spirited away. But where do people go when they're spirited away? The more I think about it, the scarier it gets. And the more my heart starts pounding. And the more concerned I get for... for you. To the unfathomable forest. Alright, off we go. Oh, do I need to... Oops. Um, I probably need to equip, right? The the lens. This is the stun lens. Oh, it's in use. We already have it equipped. Lovely. And then upgrades. We currently have the switch. And that's just kind of like basic though, right? We have plenty... Of... Oh, we actually have a decent amount of that Type 14 film. Upgrades. Ghost... View a list of the ghosts you've photographed. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, and you know what's also kind of interesting is they encourage the use of the R2 and, and the following the shadow tracings by rewarding you when those signals are particularly strong, right? Because then you have the opportunity to photograph them and get points. The stone lanterns along the road to the shrine have all been lit. Oops. Oh, what? Darn, I really didn't have a lot of time. <laughs> there was someone by the shrine on the other side of the river. Was it for you? He... I thought I'd have a little bit more time. It looks like there's something on the left there. Oh man. Oh uh oh. Oh shoot. Alright, camera obscura time. It's go time. I really want to take advantage of the, the fatal frame. That's like something I feel pretty good about generally. I want to make sure I'm decently close. Wow, I did quite a bit of damage there. Come on over, bud. Yeah, we want to try and be close enough. I think we get more points when we're close, too. Alright, I think we got it. Was that a picture I could have taken? I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, I'm curious, can we get in the water? No, we can't, okay. So we'll probably have to reach that a different time. From a different location. But yeah, when there was that quick moment across the river, I was like, oh, maybe I can like zoom in or get close or something like that, and that would help out. But what was that tutorial that showed up? So there's that item over there. It seems that's what it's leading us towards as well. All 
Alright, it wasn't great, but Fuyuhi Himino looking up a tree. Fuyuhi's trace ends here. Yikes. There's a note lying among the dead leaves. It looks like Fuyuhi Himino's. I don't know what to do now that Haruka's gone missing. I can't do anything on my own. It's like I can't breathe. We've been close since we were children. Now she's gone. I realize how important she is to me. How irreplaceable. I can't stop thinking I could have done something when she left that day. Maybe if I'd said something, I could have stopped her from going. The waiting is unbearable. I should have been the one to disappear. It should be me. Oh no. If Haruka comes back, there's so much I want to tell her. I should tell her how I really feel before we end things together. Before we end things together? Maybe she's already known for a long time, but I'll tell her anyway. I have to tell her. Yikes. So you can tell that she's almost getting spirited herself, right? Few he has been here. I can use this note to pick up her trace again. Oh, camera obscura, get him. Nice. The hanged woman. Yikes. Oh, are we being attacked? Oh, it seems we are, by a couple different friends. Alright, alright, I'm waiting for that fatal frame, that sweet, sweet fatal frame. And there it is. And notably, in the background, there was a whole bunch going on too. So I think we were able to do double damage there, which is really nice. Oh, that uh, looks like a like a high, like school age person. Um, they oh, nice shutter chance. We got a double kill there, right? Yeah. Cool, I'm a fan of that. What was that? Spooky. Um, I thought, oh, interesting. So they are continuing to take me through the forest. I thought I would have to take a picture of the note on the ground. Oh, I'm so lost. I'm so lost. I saw that there were other items I could potentially get, like over here, right? Is that where it's trying to take me? It is, okay. It's so funny, the, um, it's a small Jizo statue with a calm expression. I've seen these same statues all over the forest. Did this place have some sort of spiritual significance? The different ghosts and all that stuff and, you know, kind of capturing them, collecting them is totally scratching my collector's itch. Ghost hand, ghost hand. Nope, just some type 61 film, that's the good stuff. New film in good condition. It is effective at exercising ghosts. So maybe I'll want to equip that when, when the going gets rough. Oh, so we continue going up this way. Oh, I can probably run while following them. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. I haven't been running much in general. Now we're back on this path. I guess we can head on over this way. There's something up that way? Swept away maiden. Huh. I was like, is there an item over there or something? Just from the, you know, the icon. So where are we supposed to go? Fuyuhi Himino in front of the shrine. Wait, did I get... Okay, I was gonna say, I thought I got moved forward. But it looks like the trace goes that way. But I swear I saw an item over this way, so I'd actually like to take a look here first. I did. Some more Type 61 film. Oh no. It's never good when you're given the really good ammunition or the really good weapon. <laughs> it's like they're telling you you're gonna have a big boss or something. What is this? Sacred water. Oh boy. And the healing item too. Before I know it, they're gonna be like, Just remember, you can always save by hitting this button. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, now we're by the water. This is the one that they're gonna get me. No? Oh, there's something. Alright, so we're gonna turn around. Alright, camera obscura, go! Oh, wait a minute. There's somebody behind me too. This is not good. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna lock onto you. Alright, fatal frame. Good stuff, good stuff, big fan. And this way, everybody should be in the frame. Lovely. Come on. Oh, I didn't realize I got fatal frame. Nice. I also just realized what the, um, what the sort of like reload thing is. Come on. Fatal frame. There we go. And we got the spirit fragment with that too. And that should be the end of it. Yikes. What is this? Purifying embers. Dang, so there are like, just like tons of useful items in here. Are we supposed to be going this way? Like, am I sequence breaking? Am I like totally off the beaten path here? I think so. But there's so much to find. Like, look at all these items I'm finding. This one's by the water, so naturally we're going to get attacked afterwards. Nope, didn't want to do that. There we go. Oh, but this is a note. Sunken note. A tattered note is floating at the edge of the marsh. It looks recent. Watching the sunset makes me want to cry. I have no home to go back to. Nobody would be there if I went back. Everyone would be there, yet no one would. I know that now. Ooh, that's sad. Profound. That's why I came to the mountain. My grandma used to tell me never to go to the mountain at sunset, but my feet led me here. I chased the sun and it kept getting bigger. I couldn't stop. I felt the need to write something, so I'm scribbling this down. I had to go into the water. I had to write this first. I had to write something. What else should I write? It sounds like, well, not quite impulsive, but like whoever the author is, is, is being controlled, you know, subconsciously by some means. She's calling to me. I have to go before the sun sets. Yikes. Anything else over here? I don't think so. Oh, we're not even, it's like we're not even close to the, the tracing or whatever, so. Interesting. I thought it would be used a little bit more like a, here's the path, but because we're not even close to the tracing, we can't even be sort of led back to the path. Which might prove a little bit difficult with my side tracking tendencies. Because it's like all the way over there. Alright, well, we'll keep on running for now and get closer and closer back to that main path. Oh boy, we're in the water. Although the wetness meter didn't show up. Interesting. So I think it's only with regards to our clothes? Which is kind of interesting. And I totally think we just got turned around. Yeah, because I think this is the path we go to the... To the house or whatever. Yeah, because it's up there. So, oh boy. Which way do we go? Oh, there's something on the ground here. A mirror stone. A black stone that emits a mysterious light. If you run out of health, it will protect you. <laughs> so first they give us a bunch of healing items, and then they give us a mirror stone, which is like that item that's uh, essentially an automatic revival, right? Wait, this is not the right way to go, I don't think. Wait, is that an item over there too? It is! We're just finding all these items, jeez. Is this more film? Ah, oh, darn it, it got me! So, notably, I tried to let go in time, but it also didn't give me the same prompt as before. Okay, I thought I'd almost have to, like, bait it, like the ghost would get me again. But it doesn't seem like that's the case. Is there another item over here? There is. 
Come on. Another note. Apparent suicide note. There's a slip of paper on the ground. It looks like something's written on it. I like it here. I can die alone here. There's no one to stop me. I can take things slowly. A peaceful, dignified death. Life is nothing but misery and suffering. I'm sick of it. How sad. Okay, we are back on the trail, and I think we gotta go this way. <clears throat> now we can just calmly follow the lit trail. And I think that'll take us in the right direction. Wow, we really got, <laughs> we really went off the, the beaten path there. Because that's where we're supposed to go, right? But we never explored to the right. Or is this where we came from? I think it is, right? No, it's not. It's definitely not. Because the bridge we crossed, I thought... Hmm. But this... There's an item there. So naturally we're going to go after it. Oh, it's just some more film. Oh, no, it's an ember. Huh. Alright, admittedly, I'm a bit confused now. There's another item. So I, I think we are exploring a new area. Here's more of that healing water. Aw, oh, man. Couldn't really react in time. I should be more on my... on guard. Maybe my controller stick wiggling is not up to par either. Okay, so there's the contact. Or not the contact, the, the shadow or whatever. So maybe we are moving in the right direction? Were we not actually supposed to... Oh, did the tracing actually go to the right instead of into the mansion? Maybe that means we missed something at the mansion. Oh, great. <clears throat> so now I'm actually curious. If we go back over here... Ah, shoot. Where are we? Where's the Where's the mansion? I don't know. Alright, alright. We'll just continue onward. Is it over here? I think so. There's that bridge we crossed. Oh, there's an item over there. I don't know if you guys saw it. Let's see if we can find it. it. Should be on our left. Can we get to it is the question. If I go left here, and then a hard left here, and then continue onward. Oh, that's I can go in the water, and my reward? There we go. What is this? Herbal medicine. All right. Then we will head back now. Okay. <laughs> Collecting all the items, guys. Oh, hello. All right, camera obscura. We are ready for you. Show me that sweet, sweet fatal frame. we take it out? No, I don't think so. Ooh, we got the spirit fragments. And I think this is the only spirit we're fighting at the moment. I don't think there's anything else. Alright, we are ready to take a picture. Oh, interesting. So they have multiple, like, poses they can use to attack. Darn, we didn't really take advantage of that fatal frame very well, in my opinion. Ah. That wasn't a very good shot. I got a little bit antsy. I wanted to get the, the fatal frame shot, but... Okay, is there anything over here? Because supposedly this is not the, the way to go. But holy cow, look at all these dolls. In horror games, dolls are always, like, they, they never fail to be so super creepy. 
Okay, we got Fuki Himino examining a door. Wait, what? The tracing is going in here? I thought it was totally going somewhere else before. Huh. The countless dolls smile vacantly. How creepy. Alright, well, I guess we can open this. The door is shut. It doesn't look like he went into the shrine. She didn't actually go into it? Wait, what is there on the ground that we can pick up? A note. There's a page from a notebook on the ground. It looks like Fuyuhi's handwriting. Haruka and I have been close since kindergarten. We sing a song together at graduation. It was called the Song of Memories. Haruka and I looked at each other when we sang together. I'll never forget that. I think about those times a lot lately. They were the best. If I even hum that tune, I start to tear up. Aww. Camera Obscura! Uh, I was ready, but, oh, that's sad. I, I have had those moments before, too. You're feeling really down, and, and you just think back to some time when you were truly, you know, happy. Obviously, the, the retrospect, the scope, <laughs> looking back at things can make it easier to seem like things were happier than they actually were, but at the same time, um, you know, I, I've had those moments, too. Countless dolls are lined up around the shrine. Maybe the shrine used dolls in its ceremonies. They look like they've been out here for quite some time, exposed to the elements. I wonder? Hmm. No. Normally the game kind of cues me, you know? Oh! Camera Obscura! Get him! Girl watching from behind. Girls watching from behind? Oh! No, this is just multiple spirits. Boy watching from behind and girl watching from behind. Maybe the, those spirits are just kind of chilling inside those dolls. Okay. Well, I would say that we have done quite a bit of exploring. Now we're going over in this direction? So this is something I'll, you know, potentially get a feel for, right? Is how much is the game... Like, are we really going to cover all these paths anyways? We're headed over this way now. I took a ton of time earlier to head over this way and explore all the little side paths to get all the items. And I did it out of order, presumably. But I just didn't know if that was something that was ever going to be explored, right? Is the main path of the game even going to take me into those areas in the first place? And so, is it my only opportunity to actually explore those side paths? It's something I'll get a better feel for, obviously, as we play the game more. What's going on over here? Is there anything up this trail? No? What's that sound? Oh my! Did I get it? Ah, oh, I didn't get it. Yikes. So that was somebody committing suicide. What the heck? Oh, am I getting attacked? I am. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay. I didn't see the, the red mark, so I wasn't sure if I was getting attacked or if it was like something I should try to, um, you know, or if it was just like a environmental thing. I'm ready for you. You gonna attack me from up here or you gonna crouch beforehand? Obviously at the moment Oh I can't back up anymore. That's not good. So we got the fatal frame just in time. There's my uh, my background of Call of Duty quick scoping coming in hand. <laughs> um but What else was I gonna say? I don't even remember what I was going to say. Darn it. Oh, no, I was going to say, I keep waiting for these Fatal Frames to do these counterattacks. Just because it's, like, film efficient, I guess. And, I don't know, fun. But I'd imagine there are times when we're going to be swarmed. There are going to be, a, you know, enough ghosts that I need to stun and use my film, right? So if we're supposed to go to the right... Oh, my! Is that... That's got to be her, right? So, naturally, we're going to go this way. Are we, though? I don't know. Are we gonna find anything if we go this way? I'm not exactly convinced, actually. So, oops. Yeah, we'll just, wait a minute. Is this the way I came from? Or is this the, this is the way I came from? 
How to get lost in a forest 101. Alright, yeah, let's follow the, the tracing. And I think that's Fuyuhi ahead of us, right? A real person, not a ghost. Oh, is this her, like, shadow reading? Yikes. So she's potentially been thinking about dying for a while. She doesn't look so good. That look in her eyes. Alright, so we've gotta we've gotta get back. Wait, for you, where are you going? You're supposed to follow us. That's a pretty creepy memory, but that's also sort of that shadow reading that Hisoka warned us about. But now we've got to take her back. But I think I'm going to say that we'll do that in the next episode. This one's been going on for quite a while. The second drop has been significantly longer than the first, which is fine. Um, but it's, and it's been good so far. And uh, the thing is... Hmm... I anticipate we're going to run into quite a bit on our way back. So I think, like I said, we'll can, we'll pick up next time. Although I can't really leave, can I? Right? Like, I can't... This brings up the map. It's not like I can just at the, you know, whenever I want, just click save and, you know, pick up where I left off. Which is a bit of a bummer. Hmm. Let me think for just a moment. All right, whatever. We're just we're just gonna go for it. There's not really a tracing to follow, is there? But I guess there is a correct path to take, and I think the idea is that I'm being led to wherever that is. Oh, interesting. It looked like it was almost leading over here, right? Oh my! So there's a lot going on here at the moment. Ooh, that was like a last minute one. Alright, alright, come on. I thought there were two ghosts attacking me. But yeah, this is a new one. New type of enemy, at least. We got really stunned. Slash, sent away. And there we go. Nice. So I think we're okay. Turn around and keep going this way? Yeah, there's Fuyuhi. Did we go this way? I think we did. There's a cavernous hole open in the ground. It looks like water is collected at the bottom. If I fell in, I don't think I could climb back out. How, uh, how endearing. Alright, well, I guess we can keep following this path. Maybe it just keeps adjusting the path as I sort of commit to different parts of the trail. 
right? Like I could have gone that other path that I was initially shown and that would have been the shortest path to where I need to go. But currently I'm going this particular path. And now it's sort of rerouted, right? <laughs> Classic like GPS recalculating. But yeah, I figure, I guess I'll just see how long the second drop is. Maybe, you know, the latter half of this mission is significantly shorter than before. Granted, we are given so many items, right? There's got to be more ahead. Oh, what? Alright. So we've got them, but there's an enemy over here? Oh, boy. You guys got a lot closer. Oh, and they're actual enemies. Wait, there are people on my right or left? Ah, oh, darn, I didn't quite get them all in frame. I will say the, the indicators on screen can be a little bit deceptive. Oops. In terms of, um... Oh man, only four of them. The other one's over there, right? Ooh, I was in, like, the, the reload animation, so I couldn't actually get it. Did I get Fatal Frame? I did. I wasn't sure if I got Stutter Chance or Fatal Frame there. But I think all three of them are dead. Right? I wasn't sure if they were, like, battle ghosts versus, uh, regular-esque ghosts. Also, what is that item there? I have to find Fuyuhi. No! We lost out on the chance for the item. But, oh, interesting. The contact tracing is taking me that way. Okay. Either way, I guess we'll go find Fuyuhi. But we missed out on that item. Sad. Ah, oh, Fuyuhi, what are you getting yourself into now? I found her! I mean, I hear you, but... I need to get Fuyuhi out of here. Yeah! I mean, I'm, I'm all about that. Come on. If only she would actually follow me. In terms of like an escort mission, is this some, is it like I need to protect her? Like will ghosts try to attack her or what? Is this where I'm supposed to go? I think so. But I want to get that. Can I? There's something on the riverbank. Ooh, a necklace of some sort? Oh, it's from Hisoka! Oh no. She does not seem to be doing well. She looks very frantic with the camera obscura. This is where she must have dropped it. Oh boy. She's gonna get grabbed right out of it. Yep. And that's how the camera floated down to us. Yikes. Oh my goodness. Classic, classic for you, he. <laughs> classic. Oh, this was Hisoka's favorite. It must have been carried here by the river, just like the camera obscura. You got the evade upgrade. This allows you to detect threats capable of being dodged. If he isn't here, I have to find her. Of course, the child in the background. Oh. Okay. Wait, what? Am I supposed to go this way or this way? I don't know. I'm curious, though.
way. Oh no. That is some spooky imagery. Oh, but then it takes me out of the, the camera obscura mode? Not a big fan of that. Interesting. Can I get a fatal frame? Or no? It doesn't seem so. Alright, well I guess that's good to know. In the meantime... Can, like damage her via oh nice come on come on come on there we go another shutter shutter chance oh I always thought it was like stunner or something like that. there's fatal frame all right let's get some big damage here seems like we can really only get three shots there this is probably the boss right Where is she going to teleport to? Because she's awfully far away. Well, I can't really see her. Not my best picture, but that was functional. I guess she's still over here. She'll come through that rock eventually. <laughs> and there she is. And the attack. Nice. Let her get nice and close for some big damage. Okay. Oh, she's like all the way behind me. Touch a weakened ghost, it triggers a fatal glance, and you will see its memories. Touch the defeated ghost. She just found it earlier. Maybe she recognized it? It was Haruka's? Maybe she had the idea sort of like inceptioned? Oh, those are like the blood maidens that impose their will to an extent, right? So like the Maiden of Black Water acted as Haruka to sort of like bait her into loosening up. So the other Maiden... <laughs> Tutorial Tainted. Ghost attacks may leave you tainted by the Black Water. If this happens, your health will continuously decrease. Use purifying embers or defeat all present ghosts to remove it. Okay. Well, looks like we've got a ghost here. Um, to fight. We're presumably tainted. But I don't see our health bar decreasing frequently. I think that was a pretty nice fatal frame there. We only got two shots off, though, which is not ideal. She really lunges at you, though. 
Yeah, the, the Fatal Frame timing seemed a little bit short there. She doesn't have a lot of Spirit Fragments either. Uh-oh. Where'd she go? Oh, shoot. She got us, I think. Oh yeah, she really got us. So much so- oh wait, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to use an item. Alright, a decent amount of health. I accidentally used some uh, film, but it's not the end of the world. Come on. Darn it. Wait, are there like two of them? Ah, oh, shoot, we're about to get attacked again. Oops, wrong, wrong one. Yeah, we're totally about to get attacked again. It's interesting, if you don't time it well, you potentially get attacked. Um, you don't like stun them and like send them back, right? Oh, I dodged though. Wait, are there multiple? Oh wait, no, that's just a spirit fragment, right? Come on. Where'd it go? What? I tried to... Oh, did I hit the wrong button? I must have. The sort of side of screen indicators, right? Like the, the red things that show up on the side of the screen to, to give you a better idea of where she is aren't always that helpful. Because when you're really close to something, they, they kind of get a little bit wonky. Generally speaking, they're helpful, though. But that time, I was definitely too close. So we'll use another item. Darn, this is going to eat into our, our points at the end. But it's alright, we gotta we gotta make it to the end. Here I am thinking, uh, what's her name? Fuyuhi was the boss, but alas. I guess I should try to just take advantage of um, you know, like take some pictures sometimes when I get the chance, right? Darn it, I was in stun, I think. Or I hit the wrong button. Oh shoot, we're about to die. <laughs> that was some good timing there. Alright, we're going to get nice and healthy. Turn around, turn around! We got pictures to take. There we go, shutter chance. Where are you going? Right? Nope, behind me, I guess. Left? Nope, I don't know where you're going. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna run a little bit and then turn around. There we go. Oh, lovely. Right in front of me. Fatal frame! Always a fan. Always a fan. Fatal frame. That shrine made it. She's the one that brought for you here. The one who made her... Yeah. Do that to herself, unfortunately. It's too dangerous. I can't stay here. I'll have to go back for now. Yeah, I agree. But I don't... Where do I go? Um, I think I run this way. Oh, I, okay, I remember where we are now. We can go down this way, right? Oh, or no, this is where we saw that one other ghost, right? So down over here. We should be able to keep going. What? Are those just, like, bodies of maidens?
Hey, you gotta get out of there, Yuri. While searching for her friend, Fuyuhi Himino ended up taking her own life. Having witnessed Fuyuhi's final moments, Yuri knows she wasn't alone when she died. What of that other woman who killed herself in the same way? Not to mention the mysterious shrine maiden, sodden from the rain. Yuri managed to locate Hisoka's camera obscura, along with the charm she always liked to wear. For now, she must return to the antique shop alone. Sad. S rank? What? S rank? I did not expect that in the slightest. Wow. It's probably because of all the items we found. <laughs> Let's be real. That's a surprise. But um, overall, that was a really cool experience. Going through the forest, getting lost, etc. I'm still getting a feel for how the game kind of expects me to go through its episodes. But it was fun kind of exploring the side. The combat is growing on me. The only thing I don't like is when you're kind of stuck in camera mode and ghosts disappear and you're kind of disoriented and the indicators don't really help out a lot in identifying where that ghost is. But regardless, this was a really cool episode. And in the next episode, in a couple different ways, um, we'll, we'll head into what might be, what, like the third drop? I don't know. Ah, yes, of course, <laughs> the third drop. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that just as much as I am. It seems like the drops each episode is maybe about an hour, so I'll aim for that in terms of episode length. And it's good to know going forward, I wasn't sure. Sometimes when you're playing through games blind, you don't know, is what I'm, is the mission, you know, 45 minutes long? Is it an hour half long? Am I ending the episode five minutes before the ending of the episode? Um, or before, like, the, the end, five minutes before the end of the mission, and then it's just gonna be awkward at the beginning of the next episode? Uh, you, you just don't know sometimes. But I'm, I'm picking up on it, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this one too. The visuals, the imagery, the cutscenes are so creepy, so eerie, but so well done. They're probably my favorite part so far. And I am looking forward to the next bit that we get to play. But until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.